These are two strain gauges mounted on the top of an aluminum bar. This is a half inch bar. And these strain gauges change resistance as they're either stretched or compressed. If we look really closely, we can see that there's a little plastic foil here with copper actually deposited on the foil in a zigzag pattern and then two wires here connecting that back to our circuit. So as the resistance changes here, we'll see a change in resistance back at the main circuit. If the bar bends like this, then the gauges here on top of the bar will be stretched. And if there were gauges, and there are, on the bottom of the bar, they'll be compressed. Now when a strain gauge is stretched, the wires get longer, so the resistance goes up. Because of Poisson's ratio, they also get narrower, so the resistance goes up. And in addition, because of the stressing of the uh, matrix, uh, the crystal matrix in the, in the metal, the resistance also goes up. So anytime we stretch a strain gauge, we see an increase in resistance. Likewise, if we compress the strain gauge, if we push it closer together, then the distance along each conductive path becomes shorter, each conductor becomes wider in cross-section, and it relaxes the uh, crystal structure. So the result is, when we compress the strain gauge, when we push it together, the resistance goes down. Now these are going to be very small changes in resistance. And to measure those very small changes, we need to find a way to detect those very small changes while eliminating the large resistance.